जनरल मेथड्स ऑफ प्रिपरेशन फॉर अल्कोहल रिएक्शन ऑफ ईथर ऑक्सीजन दिस इज डन बाई द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पेरोक्साइड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीनियम सॉल्ट रिएक्शन विद लुविस एसिड एंड विद ग्रिग्नाट रिएजेंट्स दिस इज द एक्शन ऑफ पेरोक्साइड The strawberry dip is slowly being decomposed. Reaction of ether oxygen formation of peroxide. Ether oxygen is capable of forming a coordinate covalent bond with electron deficient species. Thus it's formed peroxide by the action of air or oxygen. This is the covalent bond present in the ether molecule and this is the action of peroxide as we have seen previously. Ether forms diethyl peroxide. These peroxides are unstable and decomposes violently with explosion on heating. Hence, ether should not be evaporated to dryness. In the following reaction, diethyl in the presence of atomic oxygen results in the formation of diethyl peroxide. This is a representation of oxonium salt. strong mineral acids protonate the ethereal oxygen forming oxonium salts in this reaction diethyl ether acts as lewis base here diethyl ether this is a transition state of diethyl ether and this when reacted with h2so4 or sulfuric acid results in the formation of diethyl oxonium hydrogen sulfate similarly when ror that is general ether reacted with h2so4 presents in the result results in the formation of dialkyl oxonium hydrogen sulfate similarly with lewis acids like bf3 that is boron trifluoride or aluminum trichloride results in the formation of boron trifluoride etherate here diethyl ether reacts with bo boron trifluoride to form boron tri trifluoride An ether solution of Grignard reagent contains the following complex of ether. Thus, the Grignard reagent is stabilized in dry ether. Hence, ether is used as a solvent for Grignard reagent. Here, R2O reacts with R-MgX to result formation of R, Mg, OR2, X, and R2O. That is, dimethyl ether reacts with methyl magnesium iodide to form the respective ether. This is the hydrolysis reaction in alcohols. Reaction involving carbon oxygen bond that is hydrolysis. Ethers on boiling with water in the presence dilute acids are hydrolyzed to form alcohols. That is ethers when reacted with H2O in the presence of H+ forms ROH that is alcohol. Diethyl ether reacts with water in the presence of H2SO4 or sulfuric acid to form ethanol. This reaction proceeds with the protonation of ether oxygen. That is O gets stabilized to react with H+ ion to form R2OH+. This on further reaction produces alcohol plus H+ ion. Reaction with hydrogen halide On treating with HBr or HI, ether gets cleaved to form alcohol or alkyl halide. Halogen prefers to attack the carbon atom of the smaller alkyl group. That is, ethyl methyl ether, in the presence of HI, forms ethanol plus methyl iodide. Ether reacts with excess hot concentrated hydroic acid. Alkyl iodides are formed. Here ethyl methyl ether on reacting with 2 moles of HI forms methyl iodide and ethyl iodide plus water this reaction is used in the zeisel's method of detection and estimation of alkoxy group in natural products like alkalides this is a graphical representation of zeisel's method reaction with pcl fly PCl5 also known as phosphorus pentachloride cleaves the ether into alkyl chlorides here diethyl ether on reaction with PCl5 forms ethyl chloride plus phosphoryl chloride and this is a general representation of any reaction with PCl5 uses of diethyl ether 
Diethyl ether is used as a refrigerant, as an anesthetic, as a medium for the preparation of Grignard reagent, as a solvent for the extraction of organic compounds, mixed as a substitution for petrol.